Hey everyone, JCS Starcraft here bringing you game four of the group stage game between Inflow Clan and Root Gaming Clan. So, action getting started here. This is part of the SGL tournament, and right now representing the Inflow Clan is none other than Mask, uh, made famous by AC Starcraft, I think, and his opponent is Kathan Luck here on Scrap Station. So, Mask going to be spawning as the Orange Terran, and Kathan spawning as the Blue Terrans. And right now, so this league right now, there I think there are two major clan leagues going on. One is the SC2CL, uh, or clan war, the clan wars of SS2CL, who had a huge, huge, huge beta beta tournament that is still going on up until this Sunday. It's officially called the beta tournament. And once that finishes, uh, they will move on to season one of the official tournament. I think in the finals right now might be Terra Gaming going up against ESC Icy Box. Um, both teams incredibly strong. I think Terra was able to take out Mouse Sports. I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, but Root Gaming actually did fall to Terra Gaming uh, in a very, very close battle. I think it was four to three. So, you know, really close there. And I was rooting for Root Gaming the entire time because they have a lot of really cool players that are very nice and all those things. Right now, Mask going to be establishing, uh, getting a uh, pretty standard opening, 12 racks. Looks like 13 refinery. Kathan probably going to be doing the same. No, he's not getting his gas yet. Nope, yeah, there it is. So there we go. Pretty uh, pretty standard timing from both players. Kathan going to be getting an earlier scout, and he wants to die. He wants to die because the lag is so bad right now between both players, unfortunately. Uh, Inflow Gaming actually is a officially a Korean clan, I think. Although Mask is from Mask is from Canada, so you know, not entirely sure there. Uh, SDV getting attacked, but Mask knew that it finished in time. Now just gonna try to run it away. Kathan wants to chase down that SCV and try to kill it as best he can, but a really dangerous area because all of his neighbor SCVs are going to be there as well. Now getting repaired by his by his friend SCVs can do that. They can repair each other because they're really nice. Marines unfortunately can do no such thing and going to be blasting away at Mask's uh, SCV as Mask is able to run in and kind of see everything that's going on. Trying to get around, trying not to die and see if there's any other structures that are planted in private but explode goes the SCV and Kathan. Going to be pumping out a few more uh, units as a few more Marines as well. Looks like he's going to be throwing down the factory getting the 111. Mask going to be doing the same. So no fast expand for Mask. I think Mask really only favors that against Protoss opponents, um, which was what Kathan did the last game. But against Terran players, you have to be a little bit uh, more prepared for massive tanks and Vikings as that can really hurt you <laughs> on both fronts. Uh, although here on Scrap Station, you also have to worry about Banshees as the flight distance is pretty short. So as you can see, Mask is trying to figure out if there's anything crazy going on out here as well, taking his second uh, gas. So it should be pretty interesting to see what both players do, although I take it back, Kathan is going to go with the expansion right after his factory goes down. Um, so should put him at a definite economic advantage. Uh, I'm not sure if he's played Mask before, so I don't know if he kind of knows Mask's play or just feels comfortable taking it here because of the super long travel distance that most units have to do. Um, and I think it's going to try to prepare for any sort of anti-air attack that might come his way. First tank is coming out for Kathan. Um, as he's already established at his natural end right now. Hellion coming out for Mask. Looks like he might be pushing for the Banshee, although I don't see another tech lab going down yet. So normally, if there's if they want to do fast Banshees, it's going to be okay. Maybe not. Oh, he's going to be using the factory to scout right now. And looks like he might just be pushing in with a small uh, contingent of forces. What is the first unit that's going to come out of here? Is there tech lab going down? No, there isn't. So he's just going to go ahead and I think try to apply some pressure right now with um and maybe push for a timing attack at this point although the tank is there siege is not currently being researched yet concussive shell coming down for for mask um this is a very long distance to travel but it looks like oh wow mask trying to do some trickery right here trying to plant his factory down and pump out hellions from behind bad news for mask as this uh the supply depot is here and that is not going to work for him at all I'm, i probably has worked on previous um on previous maps and now gaining the the medevac to do a drop uh unfortunately this is not going to survive at all as these units are going to fall pretty quickly to um 
well, if the SUVs were repairing the tank, but they're not going to because the SUVs are busy mining. There we go. So there's some repair on that on that tank, um, and these other SUVs were busy trying to distract the Hellion from doing any other damage. So, unfortunately for Mask, that backfired a little bit. The <laughs> The factory is now going to retreat as well. That actually looks like a face. It looks like a, a robotic face. That's kind of cool. I'd never noticed that before. And meanwhile, Mass is going to be taking the gold expansion. So kind of uh, trick, uh, kind of risky plays by Mass right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure that has worked very effectively for him before. Land the factory back here where your opponent has no, you know, not really nothing out there. Pump out the Hellion as you land your own set of units and get ready to do a massive attack on his supply line. So Mask having to retreat at this point, switching strategies in his head. Looks like he's going to be getting a reactor down and just going to be focusing on bulking up his units. Meanwhile, going to be taking the gold expansion. Does not know his opponents has this expansion yet. I'm pretty sure he'd be attacking that one instead. We're going to be dropping down and seeing what he can do in the front this is not going to be good for him as the medevac is being driven away by the vikings the vikings are going to actually drop down on the ground um, and try to take out the ground forces one viking in still in the air and down goes mask's forces now did mask actually peek and see no he still does not see that kathan went for an early expanse so kathan doing a great job holding off his opponent uh after taking that fast expansion and uh just doing a great job microing and keeping everything around it looks like uh, Mask is about to take the gold. So with taking that gold, he will be able to catch up. Um, he is ahead right now because of the mules going down. And going, wow, it's going to be taking another command center as well. Um, kind of a risky move right now, I think, as these as these uh, Vikings are going to be moving into the, to the back of his base. Going to be testing the ground. These Vikings don't really stand a chance. And there's only one Marine on the ground. So... Cathon, unfortunately, is going to win this air battle as Mask going very heavy Marauder to counter those tanks. And down goes the second Viking. Not good news for Mask at all. She is running a small bunch of forces in case Cathon is going to land. And Cathon right now going to be traveling. Where is he going? Going on an attack pattern down in the cross. Probably will pick this up. Does see that his opponent has an expansion. Now, this could just be uh, a very expensive.